where? There's one in the baker's store. <laughs> I think we're elected new mayor. Yeah! There's my fits and new now. What are you doing? Hey, 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 my fellow citizens, don't be alarmed. After all, it's just a few mice. A few mice? There are hundreds of them. Thousands! Maybe millions! They're eating our food and drowning in our teapots. One made a nest in my bonnet. I think they're cute. Me too. I have three baby ones at home in a hat box. A white one, a gray one. Tilda! Mice are not pets. They're dirty little creatures with disgusting habits. Ugh. So is Matilda. Hush! Look at this town. This used to be a nice place to live, but now it's not a nice place to raise children. Come on, Matilda. And a spotted one. He's my favorite. <laughs> All the cats are giving up on hand one town. The mice are so big and mean they've even changed out the dogs. Yeah, it, I went outside this morning and there was a note on the doghouse that said, Moved, no return address. <laughs> what do you intend to do about this horrible mess there? These mice are ruining our town. It's true. If something isn't done right away, we'll all have to move away from here. Yeah. 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 You will be relieved to know that I have taken the situation under consideration and I have decided upon a course of action. What was my course of action? The reward. Ah, yes. I am prepared to offer a reward of a thousand pieces of gold to any person or person who can rid our town of money. Where do you intend to get a thousand pieces of gold? Not from our town coffers. You needn't worry about that. It's all taken care of. Just pass the word around. Any person who can come up with a way to rid our town of mice will be handsomely rewarded. I still don't understand what money will come from. Maybe the mayor's paying for it himself. Our mayor? <laughs> I know a hunter over in Minden. He's great with the bow and arrow. A bow and arrow? These are mice. What they got to use for arrows? Toothpicks? <laughs> Mayor Spitzendu, where are we going to come up with a thousand gold pieces? So last time I checked the town coffers, there were 127 <coughs> coins. Copper coins. The new <coughs> statue you commissioned for the town hall Pretty much empty, emptied out our entire budget. And worth every penny. Amazing likeness, isn't it? <laughs> Never mind about the money. Once the town is rid of mice, what difference will it make if there's no reward? What are they going to do? Bring the mice back to life? So that means there is no reward? You catch on quickly, Klein Putter. Hopefully no one else will. At least not until after Hamlin has been, has been rid of this pesky mice problem. If I were the mayor of London, or 
even the Lord of Paris. I do what was needed to clean up the streets and entertain all of the society. I'd serve all my countrymen loyally and work towards prosperity. I'd give to the poor and even the rich as long as there's plenty left over. Make a great baron or five cows, or maybe the king of Siam. Whatever the station I'm called on to serve, I'll soak it for whatever profit I can. They must need an emperor for China, or maybe a pope down in Rome. I'm wasting my talents in old. I turned all their money to stone. My father was mayor of Hamlin, and likewise his father before. It's good while it lasted, but I do believe that I am the one man that's cut out for more. I built a great town. Hamlin, and added this fine statue too. I spent every nickel and dime that they had. I don't know how much more that one man can do. I know that my future is rosy. There's higher positions to see. But if I can get rid of those nasty old mice, I fear that my Prospects as mayor are bleed. I know that there must be an answer, a genius for whom I will search. I'll take all the credit for doing the deed and leave the poor boob in the lurch. Come, Clan Cutter, let's get the word out. What we need here is a top-notch exterminator. Right. <laughs> Migraine, where have you been hiding? I have been looking for you all morning. You weren't at home, you weren't in the town hall. The mayor and I have been working on this little mouse problem. Oh, have you figured out what to do about it? Well, yes and no. Yes and no. That's what you say to everything. Not everything. So, have you decided when we can get married and sort of family? <coughs> well, yes and no. My ring! No.
patient with me, Frida. I promise, once I become a little more established, once this problem with the mice can be finished, once I can finally... Yes, yes, do whatever you need to do. I'll still be here, waiting. Well, the mayor and I have to work on this. Come no, already. Did he make up his mind yet? Yes, and no. Oh. And how about your friend, Bartholomew? Have you seen him lately? Mother asked if he could come over to our house and play a tune for my baby brother. He has the most awful cold, and Bartholomew's music always sends him right off to sleep, even when he's not feeling well. No, I haven't seen Bartholomew in days. Father won't let me see him. Father says Bartholomew isn't good enough for him. Men are always trying to make decisions for us. I never let my father tell me who I could be with. I told him just the other day, I am going to marry Myron Kleinputter, eventually. The only boy I want to be with is Bartholomew. Are you in love with Bartholomew? Hopelessly. That's wonderful. It's so wonderful to be hopelessly in love. Except that in my case, it is hopeless. Oh, never give up on love, Henrietta. I'm sure you and Bartholomew will find a way to be together, just like Myron and I will be, eventually. I hope you're right. Uh-oh, here comes your father. I better go, mother's waiting for me. Let me know if you happen to see Bartholomew. I will, bye, Frida. Henrietta, darling. Good morning, father. What's the matter, my sweet? You know what's the matter. Why do we even ask? It's that boy again. You'll have to accept it, Henrietta. He's not good enough for you. He doesn't have any money. He doesn't even have a profession. He's a musician, father. That's his profession. A musician? What kind of profession is that? Now, if he were a successful merchant, a wealthy farmer, a prince? Father, I don't want to marry a prince. I want Bartholomew and no one else. That is ridiculous. I will choose someone appropriate for you. But until then, stay away from that boy. Is the coast clear? Bartholomew, how long have you been there behind that tree? Long enough. It's a good thing I can't afford a lot of bread and beer. It makes it easier to hide behind trees, even small trees. If you were behind that tree, then you heard what Father said? Yes, and I also heard what you said. Oh, Bartholomew, you know how I feel. There's something that I can't resist in you. I know just what you mean, I feel it too. The jaunty way you walk, the way you strike a pulse, the dimples in your cheeks, the crinkle in your nose. I even knew when we were just this high that someday it would be just you and I. Yes, I felt it too. I guess I always knew that we would be together by and by. You were such a naughty boy, you always hid my books. And you got even right away and pushed me in the brook. Father always told me I should never look your way. And sometimes you'd obey him for at least a half a day. only rags to wear. Whatever that I have, with you I'll gladly share. No one could ever come between us now. I'm sure we'll find a way, I don't know how. But someday we'll marry you and I. And we will be together by and by. There's something that I can't resist in you. I know just what you mean, I feel it too. 
the jaunty way you walk, the way you strike a pose, the dimples in your cheeks, the crinkle in your nose. No one could ever come between us now. I'm sure we'll find a way, I don't know how, but someday we will marry you and I, and we will be together by and by. he would allow you to marry a wealthy man. And I also heard him say that he would give 1,000 pieces of gold to anyone who could rid Hamlet of this plague of mice. But Bartholomew, how would you do that? I don't know exactly, but I know an idea will come. How do you know? I will simply consult my muse. Your what? My muse. It's a spirit, a beautiful spirit, that comes to me sometimes when I play my pipe. She puts the most beautiful songs into my head. So your plan is to play your pipe and wait for your muse to tell you how to get rid of all the mice in Hamlet? Exactly. But this is no ordinary muse. It has great power. Oh, Bartholomew, I love you, but sometimes... I know I'm not the most practical guy, but how could I be a farmer or a peddler when all I really want to do is play my music? I've never heard anyone play as well as you do, Bartholomew. I would never ask you to give up your music. Henrietta, Henrietta, where are you? Henrietta, there you are. I have someone I want you to meet. He's a very wealthy merchant from Bremen. His wife died last year, leaving him with 17 motherless children. 17? <laughs> Henrietta, this is Herr Gildenschmutz. Lovely to meet you, Harriet. Henrietta. Whatever. Great little town you have here. A lot of mice. A lot of mice. In Bremen. In Bremen, we don't have too many mice. Just too many children. Henrietta, why don't you show Herr Gildenschmutz the garden? I'd, I'd love to see it. I have a garden at my castle in Bremen. We grow cabbage for sauerkraut, you know. Sauerkraut? That's that awful vegetable dish that smells the same way going in as coming out. Henrietta, the garden? The mice ate everything in the garden. The mice ate your garden? Well, then show them where the garden used to be. Very well. Won't you walk with me to, uh, what used to be the garden, Herr Gildenschmutz? Whatever. Oh, and we could show Herr Gildenschmutz the orchard. That's also lovely. Should I say it used to be lovely? <laughs> hard my muse will come. into your tunes? Always. Then can you give me a tune that will lure all the mice away from Hamlin? Like that. Then tell me, how does it go? Bartholomew, Bartholomew. You know I cannot give you a tune. You have to listen for it. But I hear all kinds of tunes all day long, sometimes even in my dreams. How will I know which one is right? You'll know.
well, I guess I'll give it a try. Well, hello, little mouse. Would you like to hear a tune? How about this one? Cats of what town? Yeah, we got the numbers. Numbers? Which numbers? All of them, silly? Hey, Bertha, you won't believe what I did today. What did you do? So, I was hiding out in Frog Mary's cookie jar, and when she opened it to get a cookie, I leaped off her arm onto the kitchen table, splat! Right into a blueberry pie. What a mess! <laughs> blueberry pie everywhere! Herman, you must have been covered in them. I was, but it was very fun with them off. Frommulas have does sound like a great place to hang out. The only problem is there's so many of us, it's getting harder and harder to find a place to live. I thought I had a great spot in Frost Driver's bonnet, but then she decided she wanted to wear it. I would have been willing to share, but she was less than thrilled with that idea. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Hamlet is ours. Yeah, Bertha's right. Being a mouse is a downright kick. You get to scare all the women and make them shriek when there's no cats around and you got the run of the town. Being a mouse is a kick. Being a mouse here in Hamlin Town means you never have to scurry or scamper around when there's plenty of cheese.
found another dead mouse in my bread box this morning. I think he ate himself to death. I worry what's a bee at. He can't run fast enough to get away from him. Everyone in this town has tried something to get rid of them, and nothing works. So much for the mayor's reward. What good is it to offer something that can't be done? Yeah. 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 For centuries our families have lived in this vicinity. We thought the earth and cut the trees and made this town all that it is. But if we had to share the town with all the mice that scamper around and make up everything a mess and put our patients to the test, we still will have to all decide if in this town we can resign to give up all we have. has come to help us abolish the mice from our town. And claim our war. One thousand gold coins. That's what you say. Yes, yes, one thousand gold. <sighs> now tell us, Herr Katzenspieler, what is your plan? My plan is to put these little fake kitties all over town, in every house and every yard, and they'll scare the mice away. <coughs> If real cats couldn't scare the mice away, what makes you think fake ones will? Because they never show fear. It could work. Let's give it a try. Yeah, but it was only as big of a bowl. Then he left again. 
I kind of miss that dog. Would you two hurry up? Have you heard any more of that nice music? No, I haven't. Where do you think the music came from? It must have come from a very talented mouse. Well, who else would be up at that hour? Maybe it was the chickens. Chickens? I thought chickens got up to the sun. They crow or something. I don't think they play music. Olga, get your silly toy cats and let's get out of here. What a silly idea. The silliest putting fake cats all over town. <laughs> all right, Bartholomew. Let's see you call out to the mice and play them into the river. And then I'll get my 1,000 pieces of gold? Yes, yes. If you succeed, that is. And a man with 1,000 pieces of gold would be a wealthy man, wouldn't you say? I suppose so. And a wealthy man would be worthy of your daughter Henrietta's hand in marriage. If you had a thousand pieces of gold, then yes, you would be worthy of marrying my daughter, Henrietta. But first, you would have to earn your gold by ridding this town of mice. No sooner said than done.
for mice and Hamlin, and I'm sure I speak for the entire town when I express our deepest gratitude towards you, Bartholomew. I think this calls for a celebration. We'll call it the Pied Piper Day. We could even name a street after you. A minor street. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? And you can provide the music for the celebration, dear boy. My pieces of gold? Oh, yes. Well, there's a slight problem with that. Our town coffers are just a little short at the moment. How short? 999 and 999. 999 hundred short to be exact. How much money do you have? 127 coins. Copper coins. What? Do you mean to say that there's no reward? Well, yes. Father, how could you? Desperate times, Copper, desperate measures. Very true, Mr. Mayor, very true. Bartholomew, wait! Bartholomew! Well, I'll be going now. You <laughs> <can't>! <laughs>
song you're playing. What's the matter, my friend? I've read all the mice of Hamlin, but it turns out there was never any reward. Now I'll never be able to marry Henrietta. Then I guess a sad tune would be appropriate. But I have another tune to suggest. Another? Will it help? I think it might. I want you to listen very carefully. This tune is very far away. If you play it, it will lift you up, up as high as the mountain. Can you hear it? Yes, I believe I can. Tune from his pipe. Bartholomew! 
Where is he? Where is Bartholomew? The Piper! Has anyone seen him? He was very angry yesterday. But Bartholomew is such a sweet boy. He didn't look so sweet when the mayor told him there was no reward. Maybe Henrietta knows where he is. Henrietta! Yes? Henrietta, have you seen Bartholomew? No, I haven't. But I thought I heard him playing his pipe last night. Or maybe it was a dream. It was the strangest melody. Henrietta, all of the children are gone. All of them? All the children have disappeared. You don't think he took them down to the river? Never! Bartholomew would never do such a thing! Sophia, you're safe! Where are all the other children? They followed the music. It was so beautiful. I wanted to go, but they were walking too fast. They crossed the bridge, then over the river, and after that, I don't know where they went. They seemed to be heading for the mountain. Was it Bartholomew the <coughs> Piper who was playing the music? Yes, it was. I've never heard anything like it. The music painted wonderful pictures in your mind. There were trees with candy growing on them. You could just reach up. It's all there spits and Duke's fault. He didn't give the pipe a reward, and now he's taking away all our children. Yeah. yeah! I was only trying to get rid of the mice. I didn't mean for this to happen. Father, if you want Bartholomew to bring back the children, why don't you give him what he really wants? He doesn't want the gold. He only wants to marry me, and I want to marry him. Yeah. 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 I would gladly give Bartholomew my daughter's hand in marriage if it meant that he would bring back all of the children. How can I do that now? He's already gone. And <laughs> taking all of our children with him. I have an idea. If music can lead them away, then maybe music can bring them back to us. There's no one who can love the way a child such happiness and courage and success. There's nothing in the world that's any stronger than the love that parents and their children share. And only when they're gone do you finally realize there is no other love that can compare. climbing up the mountain, and I was, the music, I was in a trance. And then I heard your voice, and we started running down, and then we were here. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten anyone. Well, as long as they're all safe and sound. And the mayor, I believe, has a surprise for you. I do? Why 
was a surprise. <laughs> you were going to let him marry Henrietta. Oh, yes, that. You'll allow me to marry Henrietta even without the pieces of gold? Yes, yes, if that's what she wants. It is. Very well, I give my consent. And you can borrow my dress. Myron and I were married yesterday. I'm glad we're getting married, Henrietta, but I still have no money to support you with. That doesn't matter, Bartholomew. I'm sure we'll find a way. Pardon me. Did you folks ever solve that mice problem you had? Herr Gildenschmutz. Yes, I am proud to say we took care of that little matter quite effectively. Oh, excellent. I've just discovered that my warehouse is overrun with mice, and I'll give a thousand pieces of gold to anyone who can rid my stores of mice. How soon would you like these mice removed? Right away. I think I may be able to help you. I'm glad to hear that. It was the oddest thing. My warehouse in Bremen is located on the same river that Hamlin is on. And yesterday, thousands of mice came swimming right out of the river and right into my warehouse. I've never seen anything like it. You say your warehouse is on a river? Yes, this very same river, about a day's journey downstream. I think what we need to do is get the mice back into the river where they can just float away. How would you do that? I have a special technique, you'll see. Whatever. 